worked for an aircraft plant to our factory tonight. And just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected June French to be on the show. And her partner is Mr. Albert Hall. So folks, would you come in please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, welcome for the DeSoto Plymouth dealer. Say the secret word and divide $100. It's a common word, something you find around the house. Mr. Albert Hall and uh, June French. June, uh, how old are you? I'm 21. 21, yes, huh? What's your hometown? Mineola, Texas. Mineola, Texas? Is there a town named Mineola? Yes, sir. Where does that near? Oh, it's about 80 miles east of Dallas. You, well, how far is that from Neiman Marcus? That is Neiman Marcus. Oh. Are you married? Yes. You are? Yes. Well, you're pretty young to be married, aren't you? I've been married six years. You were married when you were 15? Yes. Boy, they catch him early down there, don't they? Huh? No, I caught him early. Oh. Well, at least you're honest enough to admit it. Most women are not. <laughs> Mr. Hall, uh, where are you from? Originally from Kansas. Born in Kansas. <laughs> Farm. Well, you don't have to get angry about it. Are you? <laughs> it was kind of tough out there. This guy's trying to hypnotize me. Huh? Him any more <laughs> Did you grow up on a farm in Kansas? Did you grow up on a farm back there in Kansas, sir? Uh... No, I left when I was 10 years old. Uh-huh. Your name is Albert Hall? Yes. Well, that's in London. Isn't that where the musicians uh, play in the concerts? Oh, yes. Are you, uh, did you know that? Were you oh, named after that place? Evidently. I... I didn't select the name. Oh. <laughs> a soft job up here. Huh? <laughs> the last time I come down here without my blackjack. <laughs> Where did you go when you left the farm? Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> what were you doing there? Well, I went to school there. And when I quit school, I got a job on the Nebraska State Journal as a printer's devil. <laughs> Will you ask him the next question? <laughs> you were a printer's devil. Well, why did you get fired? Uh, maybe you weren't the type, huh? I didn't get fired. Oh. Al, are you married? Oh, yes. You are, huh? How long have you been married, Al? Forty-two years. Is your wife out here with you? Yes, she's in the audience. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, what sort of work have you been doing lately? Uh, well, homicide? I came to Seattle and I got a job on the Seattle You imagine Times. if he doesn't win any money here, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> I'm leaving long before that. <laughs> You say you went to Seattle and you got a job on a paper? Seattle Times in the composing room. I see. <laughs> and how long were you there? <laughs> Ten years. Maybe I can out-frighten them. <laughs> Boy, would he fit in all of Dickens' stories, huh? <laughs> Well, June, what kind of work do you do? I'm a messenger. I feel safe for asking you. <laughs> You're a messenger? Well, what do you do as a messenger? Do you deliver messages? No, I deliver blueprints and supplies and food or anything else to, to put the engineers want. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you said food, so you and Gargantua each get $50. <laughs> All right, all right, beat it, Doc. Now, who do you deliver these things to? To the engineers. Uh-huh. Well, how are you dressed? Uh, do you wear this kind of an outfit? Uh... Well, I 
yes. Skirts, blouses, sweaters. Uh -huh. You know, better be careful. You know, I know something about engineers. They all have plans of their own, you know. <laughs> Do these engineers... <laughs> Maybe I can charm them. Mr. Hall, I am reluctant to do this, but let's get back to you. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing in Hollywood, and who are you frightening? <laughs> what are you doing here at present, Mr. Hall? Well, things got tough up in the mountains. No money. I came to Hollywood to find out how they make money. <laughs> Well, how do they make money? Uh, I walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard. And I come to the conclusion that 50% of them there are on relief. <laughs> and then I think the other 40% are going around to these banks and loan companies. There's three or four in every box. I think you've got something there. Now, have you decided on the type of work that you'd like to do in Hollywood? What would you like to do, Al, as long as you're out here now? You're not doing anything. Well, what you're doing there looks kind of soft. <laughs> well, I, it is, but I don't want it to get around, that's all. Just, uh, I guess the jig is up. <laughs> well, Al, the time is up for loose chatter. Now, let's play You Bet Your Life.